<laughs> it's so cool. I mean, no, I, I, I mean, that's really cool stuff. A typical reaction when you try out this new bike technology. It's a self-enclosed unit that can go on almost any bicycle and it turns it into a hybrid electric. It's called the Copenhagen wheel. This red hub contains all the magic. We put inside a motor, which is also a generator, a set of batteries, an embedded control system, and about a dozen sensors. As you pedal, the motor and the wheel integrates with your motion. These sensors learn how you pedal, so when you cycle, it samples your pedaling behavior, and the sensation is that you can go very far, or that hills disappear. The settings make your bike ride anything but typical. Your average person gives out about 75 to 100 watts when they ride. This adds 350 extra watts. So you're like a Tour de France rider moving through the city. What should I expect? Well, you cycle just like you ride any normal bike, uh -huh. but you'll feel like you're very strong or that the city shrunk underneath you. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. I love it. it. It sort of reminds me of um, like when I was a kid and you, you, know, you got on your bike and you felt like you could go faster. The tech connects to your smartphone so you can choose from different settings. This is a flatten my city mode, oh, wow. which understands when you're up on a hill and makes wow. it feel as if you're riding on a plane. You can also use your phone to lock and unlock your bike. With a smartphone here, you can uh, customize your ride can determine all sorts of parameters for it, but you can also monitor your physical activity. The Copenhagen Wheel, engineered at MIT, is aimed at encouraging alternative methods of transportation. I have to imagine that technology that makes it easier to take your bike on a 10-mile, 20-mile commute is a pretty significant thing and might really change the way that cities, traffic, geography, all of this stuff starts to look. Tumblr founder David Karp is an investor. I started to really kind of not like cars, started to think they're really like pretty unsafe. To look at how the Copenhagen wheel fits into that uh, is really pretty intriguing. The wheel is expected to ship before the end of summer. Another wheel that will power your bike, the Flycly Smart Wheel, has a similar release date. We have in our pockets such strong computers these days, and these things are becoming increasingly interconnected. Now, if you flip it on its head, it's almost like the city is becoming a computer in the open air, but you can start to program. The tech isn't cheap. It costs almost $800, but it may do more than change the way you ride. That is so cool. Lori Siegel, CNN Money, New York.